see, the judgment has to be accepted because it's the judgment of this Honorable Supreme Court. But uh, unfortunately, the judgment holds that we are publicity-seeking litigants. We are not interested in the real development programs, and that is why we are trying to scuttle this issue. But unfortunately, what has happened is the uh, uh, court did not take into account our submissions where they, we have categorically said that cons uh, construction and excavation is taking within the prohibited area of uh, 100 meters. So we were totally against the, against the desecration and the destruction of the temple wherein there was removal of 15 to 20 feet of stratified soil which has resulted in uh, irreparable damage to the structure so uh, and uh, but unfortunately the court didn't see our uh, you know uh, our bona fides they said that we are interlopers meddlesome interlopers and that is why they imposed a cost of one lakh one lakh yes and unfortunately another thing is court allowed us to get impeded challenge this petition with special leave to Thing. If they had found that there was no merit in our petition, they would not have allowed this. They would have straight away dismissed it. But having said so, it is. Uh, we, what do you, what do I tell the court? I mean, the categorical admission of the uh, by the archaeological superintendent in his affidavit saying that no, no heritage impact assessment studies has been made, no ground penetrating radar survey has been made. There is wide scale excavation repair resulting in irreparable damage, and there was a lion sculpture which was found on 16th of May 2022, which was already damaged. Despite all this, the honourable Supreme Court's verdict has to be accepted, and. And, uh, I, another thing, uh, do you going to file a review petition about this? Uh, no, I don't think I will file a review petition. We have to accept the verdict of the court with all humility because that so is what their lordships. The yes, because they feel they even despite me showing the affidavits, showing the law, they are not willing to accept my submission regarding the categorical prohibition. Uh, expressed under the Arch Ancient Monument Archaeological Site and Remains Act of 1958 and Section 20A4 by way of an amendment where there is a categorical prohibition. No, I don't, I don't suggest any review to be filed, no. I don't want to waste the time of the court because the court has come down on us, on me saying that it was as if heavens were going to fall, I moved the court. I moved the court to seek protection of the Jagannath temple because we are ardent devotees of Jagannath, we are natives of Orissa and we cannot see injustice happening to the temple under the garb of welfare of the people and for building toilets for the people, pilgrims, you cannot go against, the, you cannot illegally construct anything. So here we are here to protect the monument which is World Heritage Heritage Monument. We and we have uh, also very happy the outcome of this is the state government has assured that whatever damage has been done, they will rectify the damage, they will ensure that there will be no further illegal excavation and destruction to the temple. They will work in tandem with the Archaeological Survey of India. So there is a positive outcome even in this dismissal.